cards rolling. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Zeeland Muntz here with my co-hosts Jensen and Garen. We're on MLB Network today talking about who we think is in the best position to win the World Series. Jensen, who do you have at this point in the season? I have the Houston Astros. I mean, they won the World Series last year, and they just got Justin Verlander, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to help them push ahead in, in the rankings in AL West. Mm, yeah, that's a good pick. What, what about you, Garen? Yeah, well, just like you said, that's a great pick. But I think for the, uh, for the World Series, I think that the Atlanta Braves are going to come out on top with their stacked roster. In Michael Harris' center, you got Ronald Acuna. You got William Contreras. You got a lot of big names in on the pitching side, you got Spencer Strider, who was the first person to hit 200 strikeouts last season, and he had a, a one of his best seasons. And uh, Ronald Acuna going for the MVP here in this league. I was going to say the Dodgers, they've been very consistent, but we have some breaking news. This might shake that up. The Astros have traded for Julio Rodriguez and Logan Gilbert from the Mariners for Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, and two pitching prospects. Jensen, do you have the Astros still, or what does this change? Wow, that changes everything. Two of their best players and two pitchers. Mm. I mean, who are they going to have now? Some, some guys from the Mariners? The, the Astros will have Julio Rodriguez, Rookie of the Year, and Logan Gilbert. That's a pretty good pitcher. Okay, that is good. I mean, but for veterans like Bregman, I don't know, and Tuve, mm -hmm. it's former World Series champions. Like, I just said that they had won the World Series. When you gave up your World Series players, are you seriously a World Series team anymore? Would you say, does this benefit the Astros, or do you still have the Braves? I still got the Braves in this one because it doesn't really affect uh, the uh, Braves that much because mm -hmm. the Braves are in the NL and these two teams are in the AL. But I don't think the Mariners fans would be happy with this one because, mm -hmm. uh, as you heard, in 2019, the Astros were caught with a pitching, a pitching scandal where they were using trash cans to mm -hmm. cheat and uh, steal signs. But I think the Mariners definitely won this one because uh, giving up two pitching prospects and Logan Gilbert along with Julio Rodriguez, who is one of the best players in this league. Mm -hmm. I think Altuve and Bregman, two veteran players, two great players mm -hmm. on the on the defensive and hitting end. So I think uh, the uh, Astros definitely won this trade. I was going to say the Dodgers because they're consistently good, but actually I'm going to have to go to the Astros here. They've already been a top team. They won the World Series last year. Julio Rodriguez impresses me very highly. AL Rookie of the Year, Logan Gilbert, obviously a very consistent pitcher. Um, Jose, and Al Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman, uh, their agent, I mean, I know they're good. They were part of that team, but I think this is a loss to the Mariners. This is a win for the Astros, so I'm actually going to go with the Astros here. I think they've been dominant in the last couple of years, and, yeah, I think this will definitely help them out, having a very good pitcher. We don't know who the pitching prospects are yet, but I feel like this was a very good trade for the Astros, and in the end, it will benefit them, potentially take them back to the World Series. That's it for us today on MLB Network. I'm Zeeland here with my co-host Jensen and Garen. Thanks for watching.